free water. Seth from Land to House. Today's video is going to be awesome, guys. <laughs> hey there, folks. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer, and today we've got a guest here on the farm, the guru himself, the master of the ram pump. Hold that thing up. <laughs> Man, that's quite an introduction. Man, what a monster of a ram pump. <laughs> so we have Seth here. Seth is with Land to House. Yes, Land to House. Gotcha. And he has a YouTube channel. He's located here in North Carolina. We like working with local guys. And he's the guru of the ram pump. So if you guys don't know what a ram pump is, it's a passive way to pump water uphill. And we're looking for a passive solution here on the farm to get water systems in place for our cattle so we can start intensively grazing and moving our cattle to smaller paddocks. So we've got about 85 acres of usable pasture. We want to split that into one acre paddocks, graze the cows one day on each paddock all the way throughout the farm. So we build soil, we build the farm, and we build a passive water system. So today we're going to take you with Seth and Seth is going to show us how ram pumps are built and we're going to take one and put it to work here on the farm. All right? Woo! 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 <laughs> yes, sound of rain. This is the coldest day of the year so far. The perfect day to work with water. <laughs> Whenever I left my house, we had about a half inch of snow on the mountain and it was 18 degrees. <laughs> it's a perfect time for playing in the creek. Yeah, we're gonna play in the creek. So I'm gonna leave it to Seth here. I'm gonna get behind the camera and let Seth describe what the ramp pump is, how it works, where the water goes in, where the water goes out, and then we're gonna assemble one for you guys so you can understand it, and then we're gonna put it to work here on the farm. We've got a whole bunch of poly pipe. We're gonna lay out the poly pipe, and we're gonna show you how we're pumping water, I guess, up about 20 feet from our upper pond that we build. This is a temporary setup. This is experimenting. This is what farming is all about, finding simple ways to solve problems that stop mud production on your farm and stop the cows from damaging your land. So I'll let Seth talk. This is a hydraulic ram pump. It's actually a rather old technology, pushing about 300 years. Uh, the same guy that invented the hot air balloon came up with this concept. Uh, very little moving parts has a waste valve, which as you can hear is hanging open by gravity. And then it has an inline valve here that goes into a pressure tank or an accumulator. Uh, and that's basically all you have to have to get the uh, ram pump to work. Uh, so the concept is you've got a water source coming down your creek and it has drop or head pressure. And that is gonna be what powers the pump. So the water comes down and it slams the waste valve closed. When that happens, a pressure wave is generated. Some of the water is shot back up to the source, but some of the water is sent into the secondary valve right here. When that happens, pressure is built up in the pressure tank and pushed out on the delivery side. When that pressure wave shoots back to the source and into this valve, this waste valve falls back open again. And so it waits for the water to come back down and activate it again. So we'll actually be able to see it and hear it pop, 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 as it uh, is building pressure and pushing water uphill. So the ram pump is a passive water pump with the power of falling water and the ram effect. We're able to pump water at a one to seven ratio. So for every one foot of drop into the pump, we get seven feet out. So if you had a 10 foot waterfall, you're looking at 70 feet vertical. So we'll be able to water the cows here on Josh's farm passively, no fuel, electricity, and uh, this pump will be able to pump water anywhere on the property. So what we're gonna do today with this ram pump, we're gonna go over to the upper pond, we're gonna hook into the pond, we're gonna show you how it works, we're gonna assemble a ram pump to show you how it's all assembled, and also Seth has a website. What's your website again? Landtohouse.com. Landtohouse.com. 
you don't have to think about it. You can call Seth and you can basically order this thing either pre-assembled or disassembled and it's basically just the same cost as it would cost you to build it yourself. And you got a pro that's building it and somebody to lean on in case you have any questions, which is super duper awesome. So today we're going to put up a temporary water system to bring water to the upper side of the pond, to the upper side of the farm without electricity. Awesome. Let's get busy. So we're here at the back of the Kubota. We're down here in the woods. We're behind the pond dam. The way this is gonna work is we have 300 feet of poly hose. While he's hooking up the ram pump down here, I'm gonna be unraveling this poly hose and basically we're gonna put a hose bib, a typical hose bib on the end of it. All this pipe will be buried at some point. This is a temporary setup for today just to see if we have enough pressure, enough head pressure here to pump passively up to the top of the farm. That took 10 minutes to unwrap. <laughs> it's gonna get dark on us, man. All right, tools into the woods. Three quarter inch poly pipe goes through the dam. Got a handful of tools and off we go. This is our screened intake. It's a piece of schedule 40 three inch pipe with a bunch of holes. I'm gonna wrap some window screen around it. And on this end, I've got the three quarter inch supply line that will go to our pump. If debris gets into the pump, it will stop it. So it's really important to have a filtered intake. Whew. <laughs> Winded, man. We got some hills going on here. So Seth is down here in the woods. Again, Seth is with Land to House. I want to give him a big shout out for coming up here, giving me some education, giving you guys some awesome education. He's getting ready to hand the filter and the pipe through to me, and we're gonna feed it through into the pond. Run her on in there, buddy. All right, here we go. I gotta go down there. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this. I am inverted. As they say on Top Gun, I hope I don't drop the camera in the water. <laughs> yeah, dude, where is it at? Woo. There it is, Woo. hang on, hey. hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our filter, uh, what we'll do for a good time on YouTube. So we're gonna toss this out into the pond. Ugh. Okay, that's it, that's good. So we are approximately four feet out oh, into this pond. Good gracious. The pond is somewhere in the neighborhood of 36 inches deep right here. So about three foot deep right here. So we shouldn't pick up too much trash and it's not sitting directly on the bottom. <laughs> oh, good times. Be sure you stick around to the end and we'll show you how it's all assembled. This is not gonna be the permanent setup. This is testing, basically, just to see if we can get enough pressure from a ram pump to water the cows up on the top of the hill without having to expose them to the watershed. So, this is the hydrant, pretty simple. The way this thing is designed, this is the valve on the top of it, all brand new and shiny. It costs about 50 bucks. Um, this is the valve at the bottom. So the way this works is there is a shaft that runs down into here. So this goes uh, above the ground, and from about this point here, it goes under the ground. Our frost line is around 16 to 20 inches here, so basically we would bury from this end all the way through to here. What we're gonna do is hook up a three quarter inch uh, pipe connector right here, and this is where the water would drain out. So in other words, when you turn this on, this is how it works, turn that guy on, it releases the valve down in the bottom. When you turn it off, all the water in this pipe drains all the way down and comes out into a little gravel pit in the bottom there. And that's what keeps this thing from freezing in the cold winter months. Cool. Once we set it up permanently, these will be all over the farm on the edges of the fence line in order to have temporary water to every place we graze our cattle. Awesome. Now this is a low pressure system. This is what hooks into our poly pipe and this is what hooks right into the bottom three quarter inch pipe threads, okay? Very simple. If this were permanent, I would probably put Teflon tape on it. Here's our valve sitting right here. Sun is going down on us. We're gonna put two or three zip ties on here just to hold her in place and get our poly pipe all hooked up. 
down here on the ground poly pipe we're just going to press fit this on we'll come back and we'll put our hose fittings on once we install this permanently this pipe this hose will go clear to the end of the fence line we're talking another thousand feet four giggles here what here's what we're going to do i'm actually cutting this three-quarter poly and we're press fitting a pressure valve on here right there we're going to see what kind of pressure we've got um seth's bet is around 40 psi with the water turned off which I would be very impressed and that may blow apart some of these fittings that we've just pressed into place here. Biggest issue with the fittings is making sure that we uh, are paying attention and we don't allow air into the system as it goes into the ram pump. So a little bit of air in the system up here is no big deal. Again, we'll come back and put hose clamps on all this. We're fighting daylight here, guys. This is hooked to a valve so I can turn it on and off. So we're gonna turn it off and then I'll turn it back on once we get everything all full of water. Our source has been put in the water. We've got a hundred foot of three quarter inch poly pipe coming to the pump and we need to siphon uh, the water through the pipe here. So let's go ahead and get that done. Hopefully not grab a uh, mouthful of water. <laughs> there it comes, I hear it now. Now we got something going. Yep. Gusher. Yep. There we go, get all that air out, right? Yep. So if there's air in the ram pump, it will uh, stop the pump because the ram is gonna find the closest open air source. And so if you have an air pocket in the pipe, it'll find that and just stop. So, all right, all right should be good now. Awesome, look at all that water. <laughs> Valve is off. Now you're saying there's an O-ring that has to be in place right here or we'll get a big leak, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, tell me what you're gonna do here before we start it, because I'm super excited. <laughs> Okay, so whenever I open the drive pipe here, this valve is going to slam closed from all the pressure. And we're gonna to have to build back pressure in our delivery pipe over here. So when, first when I open this, water's gonna bypass everything and fill this pipe until it matches our source water. At that point, then we're gonna start clicking the waste valve here until it starts running on its own. So, popped closed. This pipe is now filling up with water. You can actually hear it. Yep, yeah, I hear it trickling. It's pretty awesome. Now it's a three quarter inch inlet and it's a half inch outlet. Okay, so now if I start pushing this valve, the waste valve down, it's gonna keep slamming closed. And depending on our back pressure issue, we may get it to start here. But you can see how forcefully this thing slams closed. To make sure the pump is working right, we can close the delivery, which makes it an infinite amount of back pressure. And then we'll be able to get this to work on its own. So the issue we're running into, Seth is telling me, and I'm standing in a big puddle of mud, but <laughs> the issue that, me, that Seth is telling me is that we're only about eight or 10 feet higher than the pond right now. We didn't have enough poly pipe to reach, you know, 15 feet up. We've got somewhere in the neighborhood of how many feet? Six to eight feet of drop? Uh, Maybe more? I'm guessing somewhere around six. Okay. Which so. gives us the ability to pump water over 40 foot. Gotcha. Vertical. Gotcha. So, if there's not enough pressure pushing back down on the pump, it's just gonna squirt water out and stop the pump. Gotcha. Since we don't quite have enough back pressure pushing down on the pump, I'm introducing friction by almost completely closing the delivery pipe. So now it's uh, only letting a little bit of water through and basically pushing back against the pump. So we should see some water at the top now. So let's go check it out. We're at the hose bib and we got no water right now. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, baby. Free water. It's pulsating. Free water. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So 50 bucks worth of ram pump and a little bit of poly pipe, and we've got water without a pump. 
super rad super duper awesome now this is kind of just a trickle right here but we really don't need a whole lot of water going to these waters for these cows we just need to keep a little bit of water going we can put a float valve in here that'll open and close slowly or we can fill our tanks up and put a little overflow valve so the water that runs in the tanks will go right back into the creek we'll just run it right back down the hill into the creek and that way we're not wasting water we're not interfering with the watershed and we're getting free water for our cows a passive system no electricity right there it is you saw it here not gravity fed ram pump fed this is our pressure gauge we're gonna turn it on see what we got Seth bet 40 pounds. We have 40, wow, 48 pounds. 48 pounds of pressure, almost 50. That is awesome. So 50 PSI, it's a very low flow rate. That's okay, we're only talking three quarters of a gallon to a gallon per minute. But how much water are your cows gonna drink? awesome man that's super cool and we could always put a cistern up here at the top of the hill a water tank in other words to store water so if we want to pump it up the hill store the water and always have it we'll always have it man i just can't say how cool this is very educational very fun uh the best education we're going to get here is how to build a ram pump here in just a minute the parts you need to build a ram pump are a ball valve pipe nipple a union another pipe nipple a t pipe nipple to a swing valve, pipe nipple inline PVC spring valve, pipe nipple another one of these T's, pipe nipple up to a pressure tank, which has a bushing coupling PVC, uh, in this case it's two inch, and then a cap up top. Down here I'm reducing with another bushing to a uh, nipple, to a union, another nipple, and then lastly a ball valve. In commercial ram pumps, there's a snifter valve. In this model, I use a bicycle inner tube to put inside of the pressure tank, fill it up till it's really tight, and uh, then put the tank together. It's gonna act as a bladder so that it's gonna push back on the water as the pump cycles. For all of the threaded joints, I use some Teflon tape, and for all of the PVC parts with the pressure tank, I use PVC cement. High five, fist bump, man hug dude thanks holy cow man <laughs> land to house right yes land to house land to house.com you can buy your own ram pump for basically already put together is that right yes pre-assembled pre-assembled for uh what's what's the cost on the ram pump like we have right here the three quarter inch i've got for 115. 115. all right so i was a little off on the 50 bucks uh we spent about 250 bucks on fittings and pipe and stuff like that and we bought the wrong size fittings because we were going to run this <laughs> another three or 400 feet up the hill but oopsie <laughs> seth I just want to thank you so much for yeah. coming to the farm. Absolutely. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the education you're providing for everybody. Everyone, go check out Land the House. Local, North Carolina boy, he'll be back. He'll be working on the farm some more, man. We're going to have some fun. We're going to put ram pumps in every body of water on the farm <laughs> to passively water our cows. Awesome. We'll see you guys next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out <laughs> Seth, Land the House, man. Good stuff. Just a good old country boy. Good time. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Pound the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Buy, buy a bag of Cheetos. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Woo! <laughs>